Yo, so I'm back with another episode for yous, and this is actually the last command and test video that I'm going to do, even though it's going to be the first command and test you would come to. So it's the endurance course, as you've already seen. I've already done the 30 miler, the 9 mile speed march, and the Tarzan assault course. If you haven't checked them out, check them out. And I've also put a video up about tips of passing all marines training and things I haven't told you. And if you're interested, the reason as to why I left not long ago and also if you haven't already please hit the subscribe down below and hit the bell button to stay in tune so let's get into it the endurance course as i have already stated it is the first commander test that you will come across it is six miles essentially and you have 71 minutes to complete it so what is it made up of it's made up of two miles across country um on woodby common and then it's made up of four miles run back to camp and then you have to complete a shoot at the end i'll show you now the two miles on woodby common is probably something that people have seen on adverts and stuff but it's made up of a few different obstacles so the morning of the test you will run or slash walk to would be coming to the start sign and it will be um, in your webbing and your rifle so you're not going to be carrying a heap of weight but it is still going to be difficult because you're going to be given absolute max effort um, up terrain down terrain through water through tunnels um, so yeah, you essentially get up there, you'll be split into syndicates and then released down. Um, to start with, you're going to be given max chat down a hill. Um, and then you're going to go through a number of obstacles. So the first obstacle I believe you'll come to is um, a tunnel and this is like um, a shallow tunnel so it's probably about waist maybe waist height but it, it, it goes down a little bit as you're going through it. it's like a box tunnel um, not the tube tunnels that you probably would have seen yet so you go through that one to start with and then you run down the hill still and you go through what's called as Peter's pool um, I can assure you now it's not a pool <laughs> Got it! Um, you pull yourself, well, you don't pull yourself through a rope, but there's a rope that goes through it. Um, that probably goes up to, depending on what time of the year, maybe waist height or chest height. Um, you get yourself through there, you then go up a hill, um, round a corner a little bit, keep on running. You're running through gorse, um, undulating ground, and then you'll get to the sheep step, which is um, a pretty famous staple in Royal Marine training, to be honest. That's essentially... A big concrete tank, um, completely submerged with water, and in the middle of that tank, either side you'll have like places where you can get in and out, and in the middle of that tank there is a small tunnel. Um, you'll have one person on each side, so this is why it's important to run in syndicate, one person on each side, and whoever's going in will go through the um, tunnel. The second person is going to reach through and grab whatever the hell they can grab of that person and rip them out the other side, because um, there has been people that have got stuck in there in the past, but don't worry. Bruh. You should probably rely on your oppos to pull you through. You'll be fine. Get out the other side. I'm carrying on him. You then do a heap more running across train and then you will go through a river um you'll run through a little river and then you will go through tunnels i think there's something like 71 meters of tunnels or something on the endurance course but the next tunnels that you will go through will be significantly smaller um it'll just be like a tube tunnel that you have to shimmy your way through um and then you'll get onto 
you run out of becoming onto the road and you run four miles all the way back down to camp that bit you just have to stick in there you just have to keep on giving everything you possibly can on them four miles because you will obviously be gassed out from doing all of the above and then once you get back to um back to camp you'll run all the way to bottom field all the way to the, the range and then you'll have like a minute or something just to give your rifle one pull through um, this is why you want to keep out of the water as much as you can. And if you're going through tunnels, don't be letting it smash off the top and stuff. Um, try and keep it protected because you have got to hit six out of 10 rounds on target to pass that. So even if you smash the whole endurance course in under 71 minutes, because it's got to be done under 71 minutes, say you get a really good time. If you miss more than four rounds, then you will fail automatically. Um, so that's one to bear in mind. So yeah, that is the endurance course. Um, unlike the other tests, there isn't much I can really uh, give to help you on this one because it's just literally grit and determination just to keep on sprinting every time you finish an obstacle. Every time you get out from a tunnel, you have to just give everything until you get to that next obstacle. Um, and then obviously once you get on the road to go back to camp, you know that that's the home straight. So that should be in your mind, keeping you going. Um, try and stay composed. Don't rush your shots at the end there because, like I say, I do know of people that when I was in training, they missed their shots and um, had a whole heap of drama because they had to then try and uh, get a re-attempt on that. So take your time there. When you get to the end of the endurance course, at some stage, your PTR will tell you, but you'll be able to put your rifle onto uh, your back. So you put it basically going down your spine so you can basically run. Um, and you'll be using bungee to do so, probably, which is what I've done. So just take the time when you're back in the grots and you're cracking admin to make sure that the bungee is good enough to keep it secure. Because if that's secured, then you'll be able to gas more than if it's wiggling around, smashing you in the back of the head and stuff. So just take the time when you're doing your admin at night time to make sure that's secured. So there it is, the endurance course. If you've got any questions or comments about it, put it down below. If you haven't seen my other videos about the 30 mile R, about the 9 mile speed march, about the Tarzan assault course, um, or any of the videos that I've put tips and tricks for training, then give them a watch. They'll be in around here somewhere on that side. Until next time, let's make some gains. Boom.